Hey folks, welcome back to Pine Ridge Homestead. Today we're going to talk about rabbits. So uh, the reason why you probably clicked on this video is because you're interested in raising rabbits or maybe you already have rabbits and you just want to adventure into rabbits a little bit more, uh, maybe get a little bit more knowledge or something like that. Uh, maybe I can help you out in this video. This right here that you see me standing in is my rabbit tree. Uh, this is made out of cattle panels, two cattle panels. There's a two by four square frame at the bottom. And I think it's consists of four two by fours. And then I've got a uh, two by four that is in the center in the front that goes from the bottom up to kind of stabilize this from moving down, up and down. So it kind of holds the weight if it snows or anything. I've got a couple pieces of plywood just leaned up against the back there. Keeps 99% of all the rain and everything out of here and I can take those pieces of plywood away depending on the weather conditions and stuff like that. If I want to open it up to have some more airflow through here, I can do that. So let's talk about some of the things you're going to need. Well, you're going to need an area to keep your rabbits dry. A simple hoop coop like this works out good. This, I think the cattle panels Costs about $25 to $30 a piece, depending on where you get them. They are 16 feet long, so you can just curve them over, attach them to some 2x4s with some fencing staples. Get you some of those. Really simple to build this. You can build this shelter in less than a half an hour. A couple cuts with a circular saw or jigsaw or sawzall, whatever kind of saw, hand saw. All you need to do is make a couple little cuts on your two by fours, figure out the width of the shelter you want. So how high you want your ceilings depends on the width. You can make it skinnier inside if you'd like for a taller ceiling, but mine is perfect where I've got mine. I don't know. It's about six foot tall. You can get you some rabbits. You can find them in local groups on Facebook. Craigslist, any places like that. Some places you have local flea markets like we do here that uh, allow people to sell livestock. So you can go to things like that. You can look online also for livestock sales. You can find these rabbits really cheap. Mine are mixed breed rabbits now. My uh, original females that I started with breeding were a silver fox mix. And uh, my male rabbit, which is right here, you can see him. That's my main buck I've talked about in previous videos. I don't even know what he is. He's just a big brown rabbit. He does the job well. I just bred all three of my full-grown females with him. Two of which have already had litters. And uh, I've got a couple little rabbits back here. In this cage, these ones were born here on the property. One started to get a little skinny. Now it's starting to get back into good health. When you have your animals, you will have a couple that may get sick. You may run into problems like ear mites. We just recently noticed that one of our rabbits had ear mites, so we treated them all, and that was super simple. All you gotta do for that is get some vegetable oil and coat the insides of their ears, and those ear mites will clean up. So you don't need to go buy any expensive medicines or anything like that. I mean, by the time we noticed it on that little rabbit back here, it was pretty bad looking. And after a few days of having that soaked in there, that uh, vegetable oil, it's all cleared up and the ear's looking good. You can barely even tell that it ever had the ear mites. So that was excellent. We just got looking online and figured out that the, any kind of vegetable oil will work good. So you've already got that in your kitchen. So keep some of that on hand. A simple shelter like this is all you really need. You don't have to get too sophisticated on things. They're just rabbits. As long as you keep them dry and out of the weather, they'll do pretty good. Well, in the summertime, you need to make sure that they're nice and cool and in the shade so they don't overheat because they can die really easy out of heat exhaustion. You can get these cages. I think they're around $40 a piece. I'm probably wrong. Look on Tractor Supplies website. You can find out how much they are. There are better cage options out there, but these ones work for me. They had uh, where they were stackable, you could stack them like too high. 
They had trays underneath them. That worked out good for a little while in my previous setup. But emptying those trays was a big hassle. They get filled up with pee and poop and stuff. And you got to go dump them and things. So what I've done is I've built a wooden platform that is open on the top. And these cages are just nailed to the wooden platform. Let's see if I can get a better shot. You kind of see what I got going on. So basically it's like a workbench without a top. Super easy to build. I built them out of two by three lumber that I already had inside for another project that I didn't ever get to. So the lumber actually ended up starting to get a little bit warped. So I decided to use it out here for this project and it was fairly cheap to do. So you can go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's, get you some two by threes because they're a lot cheaper than two by fours and that's all you need for this project. You can make them two foot wide, your frames, about two foot wide, about two foot tall. So that way your, your, your cages aren't too tall. So if you have any little guys like me that help you out with your rabbitry, they can get to the feeders and the water's easy. You can set up your waters and your feeders however you'd like with these cages. Because you'll just have to use some little bolt cutters or some snips to snip little pieces of cage to put your feeder in the side. Now the feeder with the, that comes with these cages from Tractor Supply will last you a little while. They're kind of small. They have like a wire mesh in the bottom of them to let any dust and debris fall out of the food, which is nice, but the wire will give out over time and you'll end up having to buy some new feeders, which you can pick the, I think it, they pronounce it, Dumar feeders, Tractor Supply, they're blue. That's what I have here. I've switched all my cages to them. They're bigger, you can put a lot more feed in them, and the wire mesh that's in the bottom is a lot thicker and stronger than the ones that come with these cages. So if you're trying to get into this and you want to be really productive with your rabbit setup, I recommend making you one of these hoop coops, they call them. You can watch videos all over YouTube on how people build these for their chicken coops and everything, and I use them for my chickens too. The covering on it, is this an old canopy cover? I bought a Coleman canopy shelter from a garage sale and I had it out here for two days and then the wind came through and ruined it. So I kept the canopy and put it over the hoop coop and now I've been using it for going on a year, no problems. It's not leaking or anything. So that's pretty good. If you build one and you just want to be economical about it, kind of cheap, you could just get you a tarp, put it over the top if you're planning on breeding your rabbits, you need to make sure you mark on your calendar what day you bred them so you know about a week before the rabbits are expected to put nesting boxes in there. I have made the mistake in the past of not putting the nesting boxes in there. And I had to scramble when I found the babies to put the nesting box in there. And that was just a big hassle. So don't do that. You can get you a nesting box like this from the tractor supply or any of those stores like that, Rural King, that'll get you started. If you don't have a lot of rabbits, you can alternate between the cages then with your nesting box. Or you can get a little bit more simple. You can get you a used cat litter bu a bucket and you can take the top where there's a seam right here and just leave the bottom part, take the rest off. And then you can put your hay or straw or any kind of bedding in there that you're going to use. And then the mama rabbit, when she's about to have her litter, she'll figure out that this is where she needs to have them. And she'll make her nest in there and it'll do the same thing as a wooden nesting box. So I have these also. Now I would recommend drilling some holes in them. Especially in the summertime for a little bit more airflow to go through those so your kits don't get hot. Quick and simple. I get all my feet at the tractor supply. Pro tip, if you're buying anything from tractor supply and you got a rural king in your area, you can look on the rural king's website and ask tractor supply to price match what the rural king has because they will and rural king's cheaper than tractor supply. All right, well, I've got six rabbit cages in here. I've got two bucks. 
I've got currently three bucks, two are full grown. One is my reserve buck. Uh, we're not really a fan of him. He's in this back cage right here. When you go to feed him, sometimes he'll bite you. And that's not good. But And you can handle him and stuff like that, and he doesn't try to bite you. But sometimes when you're putting feed in there, he'll nip you a little bit. You always want to keep a reserve buck because you don't want to have your buck die and not, not be able to breed your female. So keep two bucks. No matter how many females you got, you always want to make sure you got two bucks so you got a backup breeder. So I currently got two back here in this little cage that are not full grown. So they're small enough right now to be in the same cage. As you expand your rabbitry, you'll have to consider making it bigger. I'm about to expand this one. I want to go from having these six cages here to 12, so I'm looking to do that real soon. What I'm going to do is add another two cattle panels off the back of this, and I'm going to make two more structures for the cage to sit on like I was telling you about, and I'm going to put the cages like this so I can just walk down the middle of them, get to all the waters and the feeders really easy. There's a almost a foot space between them to put your feeders in here, and just enough that's cramped. It's all nice and clean. The poop goes right to the floor, which is just dirt. It's really easy to get a shovel on her there and scoop it out. Put that in your garden or wherever you'd like. I just put sawdust down on the floor for wood chips. Anything like that till it gets thick, and then I'll scrape it all out. Well, I hope this helped you with your rabbit adventure. Like and subscribe to the video, please. I'll make more videos as I figure out stuff that you guys might like to watch. Thanks for watching Pine Ridge Homestead. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe.